everybody. Good morning from Soggy, New Jersey. This is Gail, the Happy Stamper, and I was up very early this morning, couldn't sleep, got up with my husband at 5, so I thought I'd come down here and make some cards. And I just wanted to share with you this really cute, it says, Witching You um, Halloween card. And it's got the little googly eyes, um, little eyeballs in it. And so I just wanted to walk you through this, show you how simple it is to make. So let's get started. I'm using Stamping Ups, only orange, and also their basic black cardstock. The pattern paper that I have here for my background is, it's a Francis Meyer paper. It's kind of vintagey looking, but I found it, uh, gosh, probably a year ago. So um, anything will do, but I just thought this one was cute. Okay, so this is going to be a standard A2 card, and I'm going to fold it over. You could use your scoreboard if you'd like. And so this is going to be a four and a quarter by five and a half card. And I have gone in with my mats a quarter of an inch for each one. Okay, so I've gone around my only orange with my distressing tool. I have the Tim Holtz distressing tool. Went around that. And now I am going to be using my vintage photo, and I'm going to go around the edge of the card. And again, I'm doing this after I have distressed it. Just sort of make it look old, you know, like it's been sitting around for a while. All right. And I am also going to do the same thing to my pattern paper which I have also gone around the edge and distressed that as well. And I'm just going to add the tea dye to give it a little bit of an aged look. Love that look. I'm so psyched for Halloween too. All right, and I'm gonna set my tea dye aside and I'm going to get my black soot distressed ink. Add a little bit of that as well just going around the edges these are little finger daubers i get mine from stamping up you can get them at, i've seen them at joann's so um just keep your eye out for those you can use a sponge those kinds of things and i'm just going to go around my pattern paper as well i like the the look of the two colors the teeth or the vintage photo and the black set Okay, I am going to layer my, let me get my ATG gun, I'm going to layer my pattern paper onto my basic black, like so, and then I'm going to add some ribbon to the bottom. Where's my tape? And I am going to use what's known as the cheater method. That's so funny. Cheater, cheater. Okay. Let me just trim a little bit this little bit of this off. And then I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, so there is my base for my card. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to put that on there right now, and then I'll set it aside. Oh, tell me my ATG gun isn't running out. It just ran out. Holy cow. Doesn't that figure that happens right as I'm trying to do a video? It's okay. These things happen to us crafting kind of people. But we always have backup. Okay. So I'm going to adhere my mat to the front. 
Okay, I'm going to set this aside now, and I'm going to show you how I went about making um, this jar. Okay, first of all, I used 